and gentlemen, check this out. This, a truck that has solar panels on the hood. I'm gonna try to zoom in. On the hood and on the top. Check it out. Thank you for tuning into my channel. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the solar panels that you guys just saw on the truck. Um, I used to have solar panels. I used to have only two. And um, so the most important thing about getting into something is doing enough research that you know enough about that you can talk about it or, or you can proceed with it and then at the end of the day you're not gonna regret it because you didn't do enough research so I've been doing research I just seen I just seen a lot of trucks having like one big solar panel you know and I'm like man maybe I should get a solar panel I looked into it oh yeah it's cool it's charging the battery but here's here's what people don't talk about and what they don't tell you it's cool you have like two solar panels or four solar panels let's say maximum you have 4,000 uh, 400 watts or 600 watts you know um, you put them on yes when it's sunny outside you leave your truck outside it's not running for um, yeah, two weeks or three weeks the thing with the truck batteries that they put original they're just complete garbage these battery batteries nobody talks about them but you can only drain them 50% like they're garbage batteries and if you leave some accessories on your truck especially if you don't have um, a battery disconnect and you leave these batteries uh, for two weeks three weeks or a month they will drain it will drain the batteries like no tomorrow and and you're done you're gonna uh, drain them more than 50% and you're done so a lot why a lot of people put the solar panels on not because they charge so quick and you can use the powder of the batteries for like um, AC you know or uh, something like that no not because of that because 600 watt is not enough uh, to pull AC for a very long time you know but but a lot of people what they do they get like RVing you know people do the do boondocking they get a, a battery that's one battery thousand bucks they get um, uh, uh, a full full hundred percent drainable batteries and they will waste like four thousand dollars six thousand dollars on those batteries and you can then run ac that's uh, if you run a split a mini split there's acs that acs that are mini splits and they use 500 watts of power 400 500 watts of power and they use heat and ac so if you have four batteries that uh, you are able to use full hundred percent uh, you can use the mini split ac for eight hours you know eight seven hours let's say but then again you need to turn on um, <clears throat> and you need to turn on the truck after that to recharge those batteries and usually truck drivers sleep for 10 hours you have to be in sleeper for 10 hours the reason why I am not putting solar panels on my truck anymore is the reason is this you can get a, two a 2200 watt 2200 or 2400 or 500 watt um, gas generator mini generators they're like like this big you know and they will produce they will produce 24 22 20 to 2500 watts of power now what's cool about them what's cool about them is you can run two things from them you can run your mini split ac you know or or you can um, run the ac and you can run a charger to charge your batteries but the sucky thing about them is um, uh, the solar panels they're always charging your batteries don't, doesn't matter what if it doesn't have a start button stop button you know unless the Sun is not up it's barely charging but it's always charges not using gas you know that's what's cool about the solar panels but what sucks about the solar panels is um, they don't they don't put out enough in order for you to use it you know um, so the the thing I came up with, um, if you're a truck driver, you know pretty much what a tri pack is. A tri pack costs around, you know, ten thousand dollars. You can get a used one for four or five thousand dollars, and it uses your diesel. You know, you don't have to get extra gas or anything. It uses your diesel, but they're expensive. They're expensive. So wasting four thousand dollars, and they constantly break down. Literally, guys, I have a tri pack on my on my uh, Cascadia right now in the back. And I paid 1800 bucks to get it turned on because it broke off. Bro, 
something broke, right? They replaced a bunch of wiring, they replaced a bunch of bullshit. Three months into it, again, something is leaking, something is, I'm just tired with it. So I was looking into getting uh, maybe $4,000 worth of those special batteries that you can fully drain, lithium batteries, and you can fully drain and use the solar panels. But then again, if there's no sun, you cannot charge them, you know? So what I came up on, and what, not only that I came up with it, I see a lot of people do this, is um, they get the 2,500 watt, uh, gas generator they will put it in the back they will put it in like a little container or a little storage or whatever they do you know a little two box or whatever right and they will run that generator whenever it's needed and they will charge they will run to use AC you know you can here's the cool thing about it what you can do is you can use the <clears throat> 2500 watt uh, gas generator uh, plug into the batteries and constantly charge the batteries constantly charge the battery when, let's say when the truck is sitting you can constantly charge your 100 amps you can charge the batteries which is pretty much 1000 watts you can charge the batteries and you can get a mini split by using 12 volts they're using 12 volts and you can um, <clears throat> 500 watts and you can run it like that or you can get 120 uh, 120 volt mini splits and you can uh, directly connect to uh, to the generator right the gas generator and you can do that and you can also plug in a charger uh, you can plug in a charger oh, I'm sorry it's shaking man I'm driving I started finally picking up speed and I'm driving because I was stuck in traffic but you can do both of them you can either uh, run a mini AC mini split from the batteries or you can order directly from directly from the generator the second thing with the solar panels is that you have to run you have to run bunch of wiring from the solar panel to the inverter so i mean to the charge controller from the charge controller blah 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 just a bunch of wiring where um where a generator a gas generator that's 2400 watts or 2200 watt you just run one wire pretty much so hopefully this informative thing, uh, this YouTube video uh, is informative enough for you to um, decide. I mean, if you want to go with solar panels, no problem. I went with solar panels, but then I started looking more into it. And this is, this is where I say that you have to do enough research that at the end of the day, when you do whatever you wanted to do, you don't find out that, hey, you know, maybe I went with, should have went with the better thing or maybe should I done this or should have done that. By the way, guys, for everybody that's worried about me driving, I have automatic uh, assist on this Cascadia. So it's assisting me with driving. Although I should be wearing a seatbelt. I should. Let me put one on quickly. As far as you guys can remember, I always wear my seatbelt during the whole recording. Like and subscribe.